What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community of Voices. Today, we got a very special guest, uh, NBA star, you know, big philanthropist as well, which we're about to discuss. We got uh, Justice Winslow with us today. So, clap it up. Appreciate you taking the time out to join us. Of course. Cool. So, we can jump right into it. Talk to us about, you know, Robin's house and how did it come into fruition? Um, so, it started with my mom. Um, just, you know, growing up, we were always trying to give back and trying to help the community. Um, so her name is actually Robin. Um, so it's Robin's house. Um, it's, it's her little umbrella, everything built out under her, but um, it's my whole family um, and also my friends, you know, everyone helps out. So um, just any way we can help enrich the community, um, be there in times of need, um, whether it's, you know, hurricane relief or just school drives, um, you know, holiday drives with, with toys for kids. Um, any way we can try to help the community, um, we try to do so. Um, I also have um, a camp in Houston um, that we haven't been able to do because of COVID. Um, just different things. Um, there's also a women empowerment program that um, my mom was doing um, for young young girls in, in Miami. So um, we're kind of all over the place. We don't try to limit ourselves. Um, so um, that's kind of how we got started. Cool, it sounds like you guys have like your hand in a little bit of everything. So talk to us about how, you know, different ways the foundation has like directly impacted the communities you've been serving in, whether it's like Houston or Memphis or Miami and such. Um, I know just this last year, um, kind of the South got hit hard by those snowstorms um, in Memphis for sure. And, yeah. you know, as a city, we weren't really prepared for that. So um, just, you know, trying to get people goods and food and resources, you know, as urgent as we could. Um, you know, that was one way um, we tried to really help uh, Memphis. Um, in Miami, like I said, there were um, the women empowerment programs. Um, we had a basketball clinic that we hosted, um, but just also um, little things like hosting um, different events, different um, trying to activations with the community, um, you know, using my voice to try to uplift them and motivate them. Um, and, and then in Houston, um, it's kind of our big basketball clinic. Um, it's it's 100% free for the kids, uh, free uniforms, free shoes, um, free goodie bags and backpacks. So, um, you know, those are kind of the big three, but then also um, in New Orleans, there's a boys group called Son of a Saint. Um, and so that's a that's probably one of my favorites. Um, whenever I get a chance to go to New Orleans, I link up with the, with the boys and we usually do something fun, whether it's going to a, a trampoline house or playing kickball, playing dodgeball. Um, you know, that's kind of my moment also to kind of let loose and be a kid again. So um, linking up with them is always fun. Cool. So are there any like personal stories that really like hit a, like a heart string and you feel really like uh, passionate about that you could share that really like touched your heart with the kids you've been, you know, helping out within the community? Um, I think a big one is is the talent show that we were able to, to do for years in, in Miami. Um, you know, I, I can't really sing, dance, or play instrument. You know, I, I like to try to and be goofy, but um, just seeing those kids um, go out there and perform on stage, um, they're really some, some good acts. Um, but just everything from that to the, the basketball camp, seeing boys get out their comfort zone and have to speak up, um, doing different icebreakers with them. Um, I mean, it's just a lot from the food drives and, you know, seeing families in tears around the holidays, not knowing how they were going to get, um, you know, their kids gifts. So um, just a lot of a lot of the stories have been, you know, really touching for me and my family. And, um, you know, it's just something I'm really proud of for sure. Yeah. And one other quick question. So you being as like a professional athlete, and I'm sure you know, you're busy all the time between like practice, games, traveling, things like that. So how important is it for you to take the time out to actually like physically be there, like around the kids and things of that nature? Because I know time is one thing like the kids love to have, especially when, you know, you're in their presence and almost feels like, yeah. wow, like just here. So talk to us about that. Um, I think it's very important. You know, it, it's important to help out any way that you can, but um, time is kind of the one thing that we can't get back. So when you're able to give that, um, there's a lot of value in that. And so um, as much as I can throughout the season, off season, I'm able to kind of get in front of these families or really be there in person 
um, I feel that that has a tremendous impact um, on the people that I'm trying to reach out to. So um, it can be hard at times, especially with COVID. Um, it was hard, but um, it could be Zoom, it can be in person. But um, whenever you're giving your time, I feel like, um, you know, that's really important. And that really is, you know, heartfelt by whoever's receiving it. Um, they really understand how invested you are. And um, for me, um, you know, I was once in a lot of these kids' shoes. Um, looking up, having role models. So I understand how much it means to really have that person um, in front of you, you know, able to touch them, able to laugh with them. So um, I'm a big kid at heart. So it, it's fun for me to be around the kids and, and joke and mess around with them. Um, so I love it. And, you know, uh, hopefully, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they love it too. Yeah. And it's one thing just to put, donate money somewhere, but it's another thing to really like use your presence and be there in front of the kids. It means a lot because I can just be like, Damn, he's really here with us. Like he really, you know, likes us and enjoys what we're doing. So yeah. And then last question for you. Um, so what are like some of the future goals and aspirations for Robin's House, like moving forward? I think just to continue to uplift the community. Um, I think one of our big goals is kind of the social injustice that's been going on. Um, whether it's you know attacking some of those issues on the forefront or even just you know, setting the example and letting people know that, you know, this isn't right and that, you know, as a community, we can rise above it. Uh, so whether that, that's motivating, inspiring, or just um, supporting different movements, um, different kind of um, movements that are out there trying to um, build a bigger purpose, um, that's kind of our, our you know, long-term goal is this idea of equality, idea of, you know, supporting one another, supporting your strangers, um, yeah. and just being there for one another. For sure, man. And um, again, thank you for the time to take us through Robin's house. Um, and that's the goal of like JD Sports and Finish Line and putting the community voices together to really uplift voices like yours and highlight some of these foundation programs that have been, you know, really impactful within the community. And with that said, we'd like to donate 15000 to your foundation as well, especially thank you, thank you. all the work you've been doing and touching different groups of kids between like, you know, social justice, women empowerment, camps and all that so and we know it'll go a long way that 15,000 especially making like the next kid happy and hopefully you know they grow up and get to a place where they could make the same type of donation so for sure see you and the work you've been doing and thank you again no I appreciate that um you know we're thankful for for the donation um we're just gonna you know continue to try to push forward um in our community in different communities and uh, you know help bring everyone together so I appreciate it yeah for sure and I mean, that's a wrap. I'll let you have like the last words. If you want to shout out any kids? Shout out to Robin as well. You gotta show her love. Yeah, just shout out to uh, all my friends and family that uh, have made you know everything possible at Robin's house. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to you know linking up with everyone in the community. Um, you know when the time is right. But uh, I'm just excited for the future. I'm excited for, for Robin's house and um, all the plans we have. I, we have a board meeting this week, so uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. So I uh, appreciate you having me, man. I, I really appreciate the donation as well. Yeah, anytime, man. Um, and thank you again.